energy helps us get around, and our needs are growing. To help protect our environment, Airbus must meet the challenge of producing and consuming cleaner energy. We'll always need to travel for work, pleasure, to see family and friends. That's why Airbus is already taking steps to prepare the technology we need. It is a major challenge. To meet our objective, we are designing aircraft capable of combining several energy sources. This new approach is called hybridization. Hybridization is the combination of jet fuel or sustainable aviation fuels with electricity. They can be used together or alternately to optimize the overall energy efficiency of a flight and reduce fuel consumption. It's important to remember that this isn't a 100% electric aircraft. We are talking about a combination of conventional turbofans and an electric system. Just like in the automotive sector, where hybrid cars are already helping reduce CO2 emissions. In a hybrid car, an onboard computer combines and sometimes alternates a combustion engine and electric energy to optimize fuel consumption. Internal combustion, electrical systems, batteries, an onboard computer to manage everything, from start and acceleration to cruise speed and deceleration. This is how a hybrid aircraft could look too. Airbus divisions are developing demonstrators to implement hybridization, which is central to the group's strategy. For example, Airbus Helicopters has developed and tested an engine backup system installed in its flight lab. Using this approach, an electric motor takes over from the combustion engine if it fails, enabling a safe landing. Then, the EcoPulse demonstrator, developed by Dyer and Safran, enables research into what we call hybridization building blocks. These include disruptive aircraft architectures with distributed propulsion, multiple power source management, and of course, the high voltage battery. Battery research is a major factor in hybridization. Improving battery performance is a challenge, but it's essential to provide in the electrical energy hybridization requires. The hybrid aircraft's performance will rely heavily on these batteries. So, how would a hybrid aircraft work? As passengers board, the batteries are charging. A battery-powered electric motor located in the undercarriage allows the aircraft to complete its autonomous pushback phase when it moves away from the terminal. The aircraft continues to operate under battery power while taxiing to the runway. Using the electric motor in the undercarriage means the engines are not switched on so no fuel is consumed. The engines are now running. The aircraft is ready for takeoff. Getting an aircraft off the ground requires a lot of power. Its engines have to operate at full throttle. Electrical energy is used to generate thrust, reducing fuel consumption at this stage of the flight as throughout the mission. Once the aircraft reaches cruise speed, the batteries are deployed to temporarily relieve the engines and power certain functions of the aircraft. And that's not all. Energy from the engines can also be used to recharge the batteries. During its descent, the aircraft may enter phases that require engine thrust. As with takeoff, electric power takes the strain off the engines. Then, once on the tarmac, the aircraft taxis to the terminal and the electric motor in the undercarriage takes over from the turbofans again. It's the end of our flight. One where electricity helps us to better manage energy use and achieve a reduction in fuel consumption of up to 5% compared to a standard flight. Hybridization is an essential step in our bus roadmap. It will help us to achieve our objective. The roadmap, which we are developing in partnership with other sectors such as automotive, is common to all Airbus divisions. It's about taking advantage of important synergies between our different products and activities and building on the experience we will gain from various demonstrators. Achieving our ambition is a race against time. The technological challenge is considerable. 
It's collective and requires a collective response. It is the challenge of building an aircraft to mix the expectations of the future.